Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the fall colors. This is the best time of the year where the weather is just perfect, not so hot, not so cold and the natural beauty is at its best. It is also called autumn. It's a transition from summer to winter. And here the leaves will change its color and shed off by winter. We are making the most of the sunlight right now. It is so precious because within a month or two, it will be winter soon and we will be mostly stuck at home. So our kids are enjoying this time. So let's see how it goes. So in today's video, we will learn how to make Sabudana Kichri, also called tapioca or sago in English. I will share some tips how to make it non-sticky. So before we begin, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you. So this is a night before. We are soaking two cup of sabudana. Let's wash it well two to three times with water so that additional starch washes off. The main trick for sabudana to be non-sticky is to soak it in just right amount of water. If we take too much of water, it will make your sabudana sticky and soggy. We do not want that, right? So just take enough water right above your sabudana, not more, not less. As you see it right here. So let's see you in the morning. Our beautiful sabudana is just well soaked and ready to be cooked. Do you see it looks so beautiful and pearl like. This is how the texture should be. Let's see the ingredients. We have overnight soaked sabudana, roasted crushed peanuts, two medium sized boiled and diced potatoes, green chilies, curry leaves, cumin seeds, salt, ghee or clarified butter. I have taken 2 is to 1 ratio for roasted peanut. For example, if I have taken 2 cup of sabudana, I have taken 1 cup of roasted peanut. Now I am grinding it in a coarse texture like this and it is ready to be used. Once the pan is heated, I am adding 1.5 tablespoon of ghee to it adding cumin seeds to it once it's platter we will add rest of the ingredients some curry leaves green chilies sabudana kichri tastes really well when it is little spicy so you can add green chilies as per your taste now we will add diced potatoes and saute it all together It's time to add salt to our potato so that they don't taste blend. Once the potatoes are well roasted, let's add sabudana to it. The second important tip is to add right amount of peanut to your sabudana to make it non-sticky. 2 is to 1 ratio really works well here. 1 cup of coarsely grinded peanut for 2 cup of sabudana. This will not only give right texture to your sabudana but the amazing taste as well. Now let's add salt as per taste. Remember we added some salt in the beginning. Now let's put the lid on and keep stirring it in between. 
we need to keep it till it looks little translucent that is when we understand that sabudana is cooked completely now at the end add half a lime to your sabudana this will enhance the taste now stir it well Our yummy sabudana recipe is ready. It goes really well with curd. So do enjoy it and let me know in the comment section how did you like it. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Till then, be kind and stay safe. Thank you.